Hey there guys, welcome back to Now Brothers. My name is Robert. I'm David. Happy New Year's to all of you guys. Yes. And we are back for a new DIY scratch and fly. Yeah, number six. Yes, <laughs> isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> all right, so this is gonna be a little bit of a different episode for you guys because this time me and this guy are actually collaborating on a build. We and are. what are we building today, sir? We're building the Reaper drone. Woo! <laughs> Just in case you guys don't know, this is in the same Predator drone family of aircraft. Mm -hmm. This has more of a V-tail shape, which is gonna be really fun to try. Yeah. Um, so we did come up with kind of an idea. So I'm going to be working on the body. He's going to start with the wings so far mm -hmm. and then we'll kind of figure out where we're going from there. Yeah. I think, uh, doing the wings first, we can get proportions down. Yeah. That's yeah. what I usually do with all my other planes. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. And then, and um, the one thing we were going to try too, because we're doing more of a scale build, we're yeah. actually, so the aircraft, let's say the wingspan is 66 feet. Mm -hmm. We're scaling it down to 66 inches. So we're basically yeah. building off the same dimensions, but much smaller. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try that out, see how it looks. I was surprising now how small the fuselage is compared to the wings. Yeah, the fuselage is 36 feet in real life. It's like in half length, the size, yeah. And the wings are 66 feet because these are more like, I'd say like kind of a glider design. Definitely, yeah. They're basically meant to be efficient and use as little fuel as possible to do mm -hmm. what they do. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Quiet as well. Yeah, very quiet, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have the big prop on the back. I think it's a 13-inch. Okay. That's the same one I had on my Penguin. Oh. We can put it up here because it's the best plane I made. Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> so we're going to put that on the back. Um, Steve will live on. He will live on. I still have his corpse for later experiments. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you see any, um, I was just wondering real quick, since we haven't started yet, do you see anything that could be hard to do on this build? Probably the shape, right? The, the fuselage shape? The nose shape is going to be the okay. hardest part. Which yeah. I'll probably be working on. Yeah. So, okay, so I think what I'm going to start with, I'm going to build kind of a box internal uh, skeleton structure yeah. for you to mount the wings to, and then we'll okay. kind of go from there for like designing the body and getting the body right. Okay. So I think it's time we get started. Yeah, let's do I it. I am really excited. <laughs> me too. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> All right, so for me to get started on this build, um, this sheet of foam is actually only 30 inches in length and we need 36 in total. So my idea was I was actually going to make kind of a skeleton square structure for the inside where you can put like all your electronics and your motor and stuff. And then later, when I add the front to this, the extra additional six inches, we'll make that the hatch where you can put the battery in. What do you think about that? That sounds perfect. Okay. Um, I just got to kind of figure out how skinny or like, I guess the dimensions of this um, skeleton structure I'm going to do are for mm -hmm. you. So yeah. I guess I'm going to get to that and then you're going to get started on the wings, right? I am. Yeah. Okay. Let's show you what we do with that. Well, let's do it. All right, about to start on the wings here. Um, so we decided they're gonna be 66 inches long uh, or wide. So each each thing of foam is about 30 inches. So I'm gonna do two sheets of foam, uh, which will be about 60 inches, and then have a middle piece uh, connecting the two together, which will be an extra 10 inches or six inches. Sorry. So I'm do that. Look at some pictures on how kind of they're shaped. They're quite thin. So um, yeah, let's get started with that.
All right, so it's been a little bit. Uh, yeah. Where are you at so far? So I almost have the wings done here. I okay. just have to uh, glue them up. And then I prepared some spars. There they are. All right, there. Nice. Got some spars just to join all the pieces together. Okay. Um, and there's going to be a six inch center section as well, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a little six inch center piece. And then we're going to try to make these removable. Yeah. So, um, so they can actually fit in my car. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll see how that works. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Okay. So right now, I had the easiest part just because I did like the internal skeleton of the plane. Kind of a very, I would say crude reference, but basically I was doing like a triangular structure like inside and then I'm gonna do like all the curved body parts, which I'm not gonna do until we have the wing put on the motor and stuff all set because I don't want to yeah. glue this all together and then have to do that crap, we have to take it apart. Right. So. Alrighty, well, uh, why don't you finish the wings, mm -hmm. and then when you're done there, we'll get these things mounted up and we'll go from there. Sounds good. All right, so got the wings pretty much done here. Um, as you can see, there are three pieces now. I actually got a spar, three spars, in the middle of each one, and then two connecting them, uh, which is pretty cool. And they just slide apart. When Robert gets these attached, uh, or this part attached, I can figure out how they're staying in place. I move the mic around, it's probably getting louder and quiet. <laughs> So I'm gonna give this to him, and he's gonna attach it to the fuselage, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty, uh, well now that he has the wings done, uh, this is gonna be where it's a little bit more complicated for me. So earlier I built a inner structure of the airframe. Um, I decided to go with more of a triangular piece. I feel like the strength would be really good for the weight, and then also too, it's like a little bit smaller. Uh, I did cut a notch in the body here for the motor mount to fit into. Eventually I'm gonna glue this down once we have like all of our electronics and stuff in it. Uh, on this Reaper drone, the wing actually sits quite a bit further back than you would think. So I'm probably going to be inserting the wings somewhere around here, this area. So once we get the main wings on and a lot of electronics, then I'll start really making the curvature of the body, like the, the nose piece and all the rest of the fuselage. And we'll kind of go from there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> fingers not back there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. That's amazing. I hope that fingers not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how uh, even that is anymore. But... It's straight. Yeah. You don't need those other holes. Look, True. Now, okay. boom. I'm just gonna make marks for the other ones. Wires go through there. <laughs> yep. Hold that. Yep. Oh, like hold them. Okay. Who printed these? This crap. <laughs> We're just gonna do three. What? Do this. <laughs> He's laughing at it. <laughs> so frustrated. Okay. Are we doing three? Yep. Why? Yep. Will that hold? Yeah. Okay. You only need really two. Huh. Start small, go big. Ooh. That's a little uh, <laughs> off center. It's not uh, centered. Oh no. There we go. Like, why can't I get these holes to line? Oh no. No, we're not gonna do that. God. Get to me. Okay. <laughs> ah. More precision. Watch your finger. Yep. Miss mom. So I did it last time. It was perfect. Ow! Don't do that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm bleeding out. No. Reloading! <laughs> it's ten pegs. Ow! That one actually got me. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just talk about? <laughs> oh. Now we go. Now we're gonna have a PSA on. Don't use drills. 
<laughs> ah, Kitty, why? Jesus, why'd you step on her? I didn't. She ran in front of me. Yeah, she does that. And now we got some bolts to go through. Woohoo! But do they match? Oh, right. Is the thing. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah. They probably like have done this before. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see here. <laughs> One. Two. Three. The three. Boom. Best part is still set for a pusher, too. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I got the bolts on the side. Okay, jeez. <laughs> you want to draw out the fourth hole? <laughs> no, I do not. Why not? Because it looks cool at three. Oh, here we go. Testing the motor to make sure it works. Oh, great. A little servo tester. Yeah. Love these things. I need to get one of those. They're good. Make sure it's on zero. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my fingers. <laughs> yeah. exactly. My fingers. <laughs> exactly. Okay, it didn't make a noise. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's just uh, hold this up. Oh, God. Ah! It's backwards. Okay. <laughs> cool. So we need to flip the prop? Swap two of these. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna get blamed for that now. <laughs> Robert, my kitchen. What the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so we have made a lot of progress. Um, Damon got the wings done earlier. So I used his center section and I now have the inner shell of our drone here, which I do think looks pretty good. Uh, both wires for both elevators are out along with the rudder, which is actually on the bottom of this aircraft. So yeah, so I think now what my next step is gonna be is I'm gonna start creating the round body shape for the top of this thing. And I think he was gonna work on the elevators and also the rudder. So let's get back to it. Oh. 
going to say we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> All right, after many hours, the canopy is done. Um, I wish it turned out better, but got some weird layer lines there. <laughs> well, it's uh, better than my last couple attempts with yeah. the foam, that's for sure. So we screwed in this little tab here. We're going to glue this in place. So it'll just slip right under there. Because we're basically trying to turn this into the hatch we can remove for the battery. Right, yeah. Yeah. So it's going to slide off this way. That actually looks really cool, though. I think it does, too. Yeah. We'll like just have to idea. automate the bottom for it. Yeah. So. I think it'll look sweet. I do, too. Um, let's it'll get back good. to work. Okay, so uh, I spent probably the last uh, 30 minutes or so. Um, I actually made a lower platform for the fuselage here. Uh, ended up cutting some really thin pieces of foam, running the length of this piece, and then I took like a rounded edge and just kind of pushed these down a little bit, getting to the size I wanted. But uh, yeah, I'd say this is actually starting to look pretty cool. So yeah, so there's that so far. Um, only things we have left is I still need to make a little bit of a rounded section for the bottom of the fuselage. I'm probably going to build some, uh, not sorry, build, cut out some filler pieces here, just kind of make this look a little bit cleaner. And then, yeah, we just have to put the wings on, uh, paint it, and then Damon's just got to set up electronics, and we're pretty much ready to go. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so this is our third weekend working on this right. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what do we have, have we done today so far? So, the uh, got the canopy attached. There's a screw on the top and the bottom and the front. Nice, nice. Uh, got all the servos for the tail done. Cool, let's see that. Yeah. yeah I that wish, looks good, man. I wish I did this on the bottom. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. <laughs> it looks kind of ugly, but oh well. That's all right. Uh, and then we printed the little uh, engine cowl. Intake. intake. Yeah, intake, yeah. Just like that? Yep. Uh, we're going to sand it, and then we're going to cut away some foam so it kind of insets in there. Yeah, that way it looks but, a little more uniform. Yeah. Uh, we went to Walmart, picked up a $20 sander. <laughs> the cheapest sander they had, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Is, it a, is it plugged in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never used one of those before, but I'm sure it's simple. Yeah, yeah. So. Try to get right. some of these layer lines out, then we'll get some of these things painted. Yeah, let's do it. We're, yeah. we're getting real close to being done with this thing. Yeah, we are. All right, let's do it. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my nice uh, cheap Irwin uh, premium Ooh. device here Ooh. Uh, for bench presses. Um, drill bench, presses. Bench presses? Drill presses. Are we going to the gym now? <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to hammer it. Hammer time. Into an angle. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's, that's we got that done. Yeah. <laughs> that's not nearly enough. No. <laughs> not even close. Would it be better if I just try to bend it? Uh, with your bare hands? Well, should I try? All right, probably not trying for that. I mean, I, I want a pretty tight bend. Well, it, okay. So. If we actually had it, like, if that was secured to an actual bench. <laughs> right, yeah. I think it would be fine. Sorry. Sorry. Actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drill down. <laughs> Sorry. That's, uh, I think it's quieter on the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going dying, great. Dying, dying. I live in an apartment with very old people. I know, me, and so. then you always hear the old lady in the car. <laughs> Quiet down! <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, more? That's, that's getting there. I'll do a little more. More? Yeah. Great. That's getting there, though. Yeah, it's putting a dent in my face. That's very expensive vice. <laughs> <laughs> Cast iron or whatever it is. <laughs> it's great. Let's get that close up while he's doing this, that tongue. <laughs> it's wiggling so much. <laughs> that might be able to push it down. That's what I was thinking too, because. Want me to try it too? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Actually. That's, yeah, that's pretty close. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that looks good. Now just got to match it on the other one. Yep. Exactly <laughs> the same, too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yep. Definitely will. Yep. Here we go. Hey, back up. Okay. Back up. <laughs> All right, let's see this. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> so loud on the floor. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Move that back. <laughs> Focus face. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's bent the right direction. <laughs> okay, you were correct. Yay! I'm not an idiot. You were correct. Woohoo! Now we need to check if that's enough or not. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to say right now, I think this is probably the most we've used 3D printed parts in a build. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, so, I designed the simple part here. Um, so the wires can't just like set in the grooves. Yeah, and then the screws. And right? then we have screws to hold it down. And hopefully I get some of this curve as well so it doesn't rotate back and forth. No, that looks really good. Um, we'll see how it turns out. So this is V1. If they need to be deeper, then I'll have to change it. Okay. But Give it a try, right? Yeah, let's get that printing. Cool, let's do it. Why are you smirking like you're not doing nothing? <laughs> that was our front main. Front main. Back main. Rear main. Rear main, yeah. Sorry, that's what I said. Back main. Back main. If this doesn't work, then I have collars we can just throw in there. Okay. Gonna get close to that. Goopies on there. The people are really cringing right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Because with our CG, mm -hmm. I would think with where the wings are, that'd be the best spot to do it. Yeah. Probably put about right there. Sure. Yeah. I'm trying to show off that disgusting pan. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> trying not to show off that disgusting pan. <laughs> That's all right. You can. <sighs> My. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Let's zoom in. Manual I focus. Say, I was gonna say, just don't do any kind of panning shots, you know. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, if we get that plastic, I think that'd be really good. Cool. To then, clear the rudder. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest though, uh, huh, we're gonna have to take off very flat. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might put a piece of like really thin plastic across there. Okay, just, just so, a skid plate. Just a skid plate, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I like how those look. Yep. Um, unless you want me, I could also, if you want as well, I could also take some squares of foam and stack them if we want a little bit more height. Okay. If you think that'd be better, or if you like that. I think that'll just make it less durable. Okay. But. You could always put glue this back in too and we're done. No, yeah. For a little bit of a little bit more streamlined. Yeah. Um, then we gotta look where we want this one. The front, yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna say, in all the years of being your friend, it's a little creepy looking to your eyes like this. <laughs> the is not straight whatsoever. No, we're, that's what we're trying to fix. Uh -huh. Wow, this is weird. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me this, uh, <laughs> this looks really weird. It's, it's weird. <laughs> wow, this lighting gear crooked. Are they really? I mean, how they were. Are you still filming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to say probably about there. That looks good. Right there? Yeah. Okay, so then you go all the way to the right on okay. this slot. Okay. Okay. Cool.
All right, so it's been five, six weeks since uh, <laughs> yep. we started building this thing. <laughs> uh, we started building this thing New Year's Eve, uh -huh. so it's been a bit. Yeah, uh, we finally have good weather to actually fly this thing. Mm -hmm. Ish. So, ish yeah. ish, yeah. It just stopped raining. <laughs> uh, we had a few hold, uh, setbacks, and then we had to 3D print some stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I got sick really bad for two weeks, so he wasn't risking that. It was snowing, it was below zero, it uh -huh. was raining, it, it was, was below Oh, yeah, zero like every single thing Mother <laughs> Nature could have thrown us to not do this yeah. has happened, but Super we're about windy. to... Uh, Go against its wishes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I will say, I want to do this more often because it has been really fun doing a collab one. A lot of fun. Just, and it turned out great too. It looked really. It turned out yeah. really good. Yeah. So I think since you guys saw it last time on painted, I think it's time we finally reveal what this thing looks like. Yep. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. That's right. Yeah. This thing's all done. <laughs> dude, it looks sick. It looks so good, dude. Uh -huh. Like, I am so happy with this thing. I know. Uh, so we had a few things we had to change since you guys saw the video. Uh -huh. um, this is no longer the battery hatch because the actual CG is back here. So we actually had to, uh, he had to cut a hatch into the side of this thing. Yeah, so without the battery, uh, it actually bounced perfectly on the wing. Really? Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, we had to make the battery right on the wing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, a little bit of the paint crinkled a few spots, but that's going to happen with this dollar store foam board. Yeah, especially the paint you had was really old. Yeah, the, black, yeah, uh, the black so stuff. It was kind of watery. Yeah, but. which is fine. Yeah. But, uh, dude, I think it's time we fly this. Like, yeah. I am I am so excited for this. You like the uh, the aileron wires coming out the bottom there? Yeah. That's because they're too long, right? <laughs> yeah. I had nowhere to stuff them, so they're just going to hang down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So janky. Uh, this thing, so surprisingly, like this thing is way lighter than it looks like yeah. it'd be. Yeah. So I think the triangular inner frame was actually pretty good for what it does. Uh -huh. It's the second so. strongest shape, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. So I was telling him, even though he doesn't want that, just because you had to 3D print some stuff, design like your own stuff, I think you deserve the honors to fly it first. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. Great. Like a lot of the stuff you did was really cool, especially like uh, coming up with like the 3D printed part for like the landing gear. Like mm -hmm. that was awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, it did help a lot trying to mount those. There. I think uh, I think you deserve the honors to fly it first. Okay. So well, you ready to do this? I'm excited. Oh yeah, let's do it, man. Let's see how the first collab goes. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can just counter it. Don't you just hate cliffhangers? Yeah, me too.